latest victims of the deadly flu epidemic, seven-year-old Kevin Baines died on Sunday, just a day after his flu diagnosis. The CDC projects roughly 700,000 flu-related hospitalizations this season. And Walter Horkus is at Grady Memorial Hospital, that's in Atlanta, which is struggling to accommodate all the flu patients. And well, good morning. Good morning. This is actually a mobile hospital. It was built primarily for disasters. But even Grady Memorial, Georgia's largest hospital, is having to use it to keep up with this flu season. And we just loved everybody. He was a very loving kid. That's how Samantha and Kevin Baines described their son, Kevin. They say the seven-year-old began feeling sick on Friday. He just does, wasn't getting any better, so we took him to the Gretna ER. They say doctors in Gretna, Virginia, diagnosed Kevin with the flu and strep throat and sent him home with antibiotics. On Sunday morning, his family woke up and found him unresponsive. He wasn't breathing. <laughs> A medical examiner is determining Kevin's exact cause of death. The flu would make it Virginia's first pediatric death from the virus this year. At least 19 states have reported at least one pediatric death related to the virus this season. Children are just a fraction of the thousands of flu patients inundating hospitals nationwide. Atlanta's Grady Hospital has seen as much as a 25% increase in overall emergency room visits so far this year. Grady's Chief of Emergency Medicine, Dr. Hani Atala, says the hospital called on a mobile emergency department based nearly 250 miles away to help tackle the increasing patient demand. At 500 uh, plus patients a day, you physically just need the space to put a patient in. This is going to help solve that. Carolina's health care system, which owns the mobile hospital, expects it will be here for at least the next 30 days. Doctors will begin using it today. Manuel, thank you. A box